Hello and welcome to Hops and Bros. This week, the hype is real. The hype, the hype is real. It's super duper it's real. real. So, let's do it. For a no So yes, the hype is real! And it's real because I think it's the most hyped up beer uh, you can find around Well, especially Canada in the Quebec lately. region right now. Yeah, I know, it's, it's um, hot. It's, it's super it's, duper hot. It's hot, yes. The beer has been delivered, uh, yeah, we're, yeah, it's been delivered yesterday. Uh, beer smuggler? No, no uh, my own smuggling. Your own smuggling? Yeah, oh. I, 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 was, I was a few steps ahead of the, the beer smuggler. Okay. So yes, today, we're talking about Ipe Odznares from Boreal, Boreal in Montreal. Which I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it right now, it's, a, it's an epic beer. It's a really, really good beer. At first, I was very skeptical. Chris, you can corroborate. I did say that, no, it's impossible. Yeah. It's not that good. I, I told him, because I already tried it on draft somewhere yeah. else. And I'm like, Max, this is serious. This review will be super serious. This beer is really serious. I and, and, and he's like, what he's like, I said is, I don't believe you. No, no, I don't believe you. There's better uh, new There's IPAs better out beers. there. There's better beers out there. This yeah. is not going to be the best beer ever. We've had the best beer ever on the show. And, and he mentioned also Eddie Topper. He's like, I did. we tried this IPA, and no, it's not even playing the same field. It, it's no. not the same field. It's not the same no. field. But it's but, but goddamn close to be really, 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 really close. good. So, yes. without further ado, let's dive into this one. So, yeah, uh, coming a little closer to here. Yeah. Ipe uh, this beer poured with a nice uh, orangey, yellow, really, so really big. super you can't see easy. Through it. But it's big, it's bold, and you can feel the oats on the mouthfeel. This is really something I do like about the New England IPAs, and I think it's something people should put a little bit more effort into them. The mouthfeel. This beer, these beers are supposed to be creamy. Yes. Creamy, yes, juicy. So after that, you get all those nice creamy flavors with the juiciness of like the hops in there. But I do get mangoes, a little bit of guava, a little bit of pineapple, not too much citrus, but it's just right off the end. And the bitterness on it is just perfectly balanced with the beer. So sometimes it tends to be a little bit too sweet. Here it's right on point and the bitterness is just pungent the way I like it. The balance is great on this beer. Uh, the, 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 the bitterness, as you were talking about, is just perfect. It comes yeah. in at the perfect moment, just as I've said in the past, it's just to get you through that next sip. Yeah. It's just the bitterness dries out a bit of your mouth and you're like, ah, you know what? I'll go for that next sip. But the fruitiness in this, it's, just, it's, it's amazing. It, it is ama it's, it's an amazing beer. It's, it's, it's yeah. adult juice. Yes. Adult juice yes, in a beer. Is. And I just want to take you guys, usually we do a little bit story before we get yes, into yes. so the beer, so oh, yeah, yeah. we, we yeah. skip that completely. Yeah, no problem. I'll, I'll jump on it. No problem. I, <laughs> no, I, I know that the taste we, we've been drinking this oh, yeah. while setting up the whole thing, yes. and uh, we were just it's eager so to eager. Like, yeah, jump just, yes. on the subject and talk about what we're tasting right now. So yes, it's an amazing beer, but but yeah, they're they've been around for a while now. And been around for a very long first time. Kind of like beers to buy at like the depth was but well, yeah so i was thinking yeah. like one of my good beers back in the days with Boreal blonde with honey yeah i was drinking that all summer longs when i was a teenager oops <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh which to me the Boreal was always a yes sure it's it's, it's it's uh craft beer but it's upscale it's everywhere you go to a bar yeah. and you ask for a boy out you know what you're gonna get exactly you know you're gonna get a quality beer that's still gonna be affordable and which is an interesting part of craft beer as well yes because they get uh, they get overshadowed by that kind of uh big yeah. brewery they had but lately they launched those episode uh, um, yeah, beers. like like smaller beers, smaller, smaller batch beers, beers, smaller batch that beers. They, they tried different things, different styles. They, they had an Ninja Sessionel that was amazing. There's also a white that they did, a different white, which was amazing too. And this one just caught up. Yes. They won an award for it. They won Best Beer at the um, Festival de Chambly, uh, which Craig uh, from BAOS, BAOS Podcast uh, covered too. The link is going to be down there, so go check out his channel and go check out that link specially. Exactly, it's because he has a special yeah. episode on yeah. that. But uh, like they've won an award. The hype is real. 
it's a limited release beer at the same time. So you can easily find it on tap, usually to your favorite beer bar yeah. in, on the Quebec side. But it might not last long. Uh, uh, what I've been hearing from bars is that they tap it. Yeah. Instead of a couple hours, it's empty and they have no more. So exactly. if you do hear a bar that has it, uh, go check it out. Exactly. But don't, don't keep it for your second beer. Yeah. Make it the first beer because you might beer. not have it Get to the for the one. second beer. Yeah. So uh, I bought four of these. Mm -hmm. I really want to get into this subject because I bought four of these. Two for the reviews, one that goes out to one of our friends and another one that goes to another of our friends. So four beers, two of them goes to some of our friends in Ontario. Uh, yes, you guys are super lucky. But um, super. I've seen people just running around uh, going over the limit per, cons per consumer and some grocery stores doesn't even have limits. And I've seen people posting pictures online of them buying like three of this which uh, it's listen uh, the more people try it out the better it is yeah. and, and trust me you're gonna get another beer that you love and just because it's a hyped beer doesn't mean that you're not gonna love another beer as well exactly um, and yes it's really good but there's a lot of really good beers out there and great beers buying out there. three twelves of one beer it's exaggerated yes it's too much yeah stop it it's stupid it's stupid totally well, stupid uh, we're no. not calling our listeners stupid. No, no, it's just you, uh, leave it for the others yeah, and enjoy what others. you have. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And this beer lasts only fresh for a month. So unless and you're planning in the first week of drinking it. So if but you're planning on, had... yeah, yeah, there's a date on it. Yeah, they had three weeks. Before, it's three so weeks. It's three weeks on it. So three weeks, which is extremely short for a beer, but extremely great for an IPA. Exactly. Uh, which they like. I guess it's still going to be good after three yeah. weeks, but you want to enjoy it before that. And if you buy three dozens, um, I mean, you might finish it. You might. But I'm, I'm just, I'm hoping you're sharing them. Yeah, hopefully you're sharing yeah. them. That's, I think that's where my yeah, kind no, of rant goes yeah. on to. But I, I think it applies to all the limited beer release that goes out there. Just buy two, three, four to share with your friends, enjoy it by yourself. If you want to age them, buy it like just a little bit more, but not a whole two, four, not like, it's, I don't see the point. Mm -hmm. I don't see the point. Uh, it kills kind of, kind of the vibe of the friendliness of the craft beer community and everything. It's made to have fun, to enjoy beers. Everyone's supposed to enjoy the different beers, so why? So hopefully everyone's going to yes. get a chance to try this beer. That's the whole thing. I'll stop running about the it. why you don't want to buy like extreme amounts. Exactly. Although, uh, leave your opinions in the yeah. comments below. What do you think about yeah. like buying bulks and bulks of a limited released beer? What do you think about that? Yeah, because I mean, I put my opinion on the table. Yeah, from my experience is that I'm always going to love the next beer. Yeah. So there's no point in buying bulk of one beer. Yeah. Just buy. The, the proof buy is everything. our fridge. We the have two bottles fridge, of yes. everything. That's it. Two bottles of everything. We don't have a twelve. No, no. It doesn't exist in our in our uh, in our world. But so if you want to be said. part of our world, please <laughs> leave a like, subscribe uh, to the channel. We're uh, really we're eight subscribers close to three hundred, which, which is, is awesome. It's crazy. Be, hey, the big three zero. Oh, so, oh, yeah, yeah. And for, for us, for us, the objective is five hundred by, by the end of by the end of December. December, yes. Yeah. So December five hundred. Oh, 500. yes. Tell, please tell yeah, your that, friends. That's roomies, roomies. That's you that put that thing <laughs> on us. So there's a lot of pressure on there, but I'm pretty sure you guys can share it with all your friends, and everyone will love it. So cheers to you guys. A big cheers to Barrial for bringing this amazing awesome beer on the beer. market. Yeah. It's awesome. I wish you guys a lot of success, and you've been collaborating with great breweries too at the same time. So cheers. Cheers again. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Anything to add? More? More. More is more. So I disagree.